Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? I hope that you are all well. It is day 16, Merry Monday, you guys. Day 16, crossing that off the list there. And we are going to, as you could see, I, I got organized. <laughs> I had a little time to do my um, reset. Okay, so beautiful blessings to Vintage Baby 63, Shelly Walton, Polly Stewart, and Miss Tucker D. Beautiful blessings to you. Thank you so much for commenting on my channel so I know you are there. It's Merry Monday, so let's get started. I took out the Christmas book that we did last um, Monday, and I figured we'll just work on that. I don't know if I want to sit today or not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see. I have my stuff all right here. And I have out, let me see, I have out my original Christmas kit. And I figured possibly maybe these were like lots of designs that I had that like didn't make the cut or I was testing the print. But I figured possibly I can put some more, some more digitals in there, some more images in the pages that aren't so Christmassy because I know I didn't use I didn't use any Christmas digitals. I only used a few. So, I figured, let's get started. <laughs> How are all of you? I hope you're all well. Okay. Um, a little change happened. So, I am... Um, I, I, I went to visit my sister. I had a wonderful time. But I had to come home. <laughs> I came home. And now I am going back. So um, it's the weather was bad. It's raining here. Um, so I'm going back. So Merry Monday. You're seeing Merry Monday, but I'm not home. I'm going to do Merry Monday. And I came back to do Merry Monday and Twisted Tool Tuesday. And hopefully the weather will be better. <laughs> we had things to do and we couldn't get anything done. Um, that's the reason why I had one up there. I was helping her do things. So hopefully now that the rain will have cleared, I'll be able to get things done with her. Um, so it was a change of plans, but it was, I was happy to see my, my family for the day. I had a wonderful time. Okay. So you're seeing this tomorrow. Oh no, you're seeing this on Merry Monday. It's actually today's actually Sunday. Oh no, today no, today's Saturday. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what day it is. Um I don't want to cover up the elephant, I don't think. So let's go and look. Oh look. There's an elephant there, too. How cute. Maybe we'll put him right there. All right, I have a glue book here. Scraps. I have a glue book right here. I have my glue right here. I got organized. I did a, I did a reset. Um, I'll have to show you my studio. But... It is uh, starting to, well, from my last re from my last um, zones that I did, I never kind of finished the zone. I, I finished the zones, but I didn't finish the small stuff. And the small stuff is kind of what's been holding me back because it's often the things that I need on my desk, the small stuff. And so now... Um, and I, I kind of did that. I did the papers. Um, I did my carts. I was tired of losing things. Seriously. Okay. So I'll have to give you, I'm not, I'm not quite finished yet, but I will give you a glimpse into everything when I'm finished. Poss possibly next week. I don't know if I'll finish this week. Maybe. Who knows? I'm, I'm just, I'm fussy cutting. Sorry, off to the side. 
don't know why I did that. <laughs> I don't know why I went to the side. No. Mm -hmm. Possibly if I did this and broke up the words, maybe I could put that there. In there. I don't see why not. Yeah, so tomorrow in the morning I'll be going and it's not supposed to be raining. I'm gonna put the holly over here. I might cut I might cut in here a little bit around the Y. that we could see the little bear and we don't lose him too much. I mean, the fox? Yeah. Yeah, we'll put that there. Like that. That's cute. I like that. So you can just take your digitals and you can remix them up. You don't have to... Um, keep them on the collage page by the artist. You can kind of cut them out and rearrange them on your page. <laughs> you can rearrange them. Yes, you can. I give you permission, my crafting buddies. <laughs> okay. Now, of course, we have scraps for Twisted Tangles, which is something that I have to make. Oh, my gosh. My digitals are are really um, piled up. They seriously are really piled up. And my digitals, my scraps. And I need to... Um, well, that looks pretty there because it's a music sheet. I need to make um, Twisted Tangles. I do. I have so many scraps and that was another thing that I went through all my stuff and I had enormous, enormous amounts of scraps. Enormous. All right, so you see, we took some pages that didn't, that weren't Christmassy and we're making them Christmassy by just gluing on some things onto them. Look how cute. Can we put the little bunny over here? The little bunny. I don't know. Oh, I took this card out because I want to put it in here. Maybe I'll just do that now. Oh, that was the one thing I didn't do. I didn't bring the little stuff over here. Um... Because of the fact that I'm still going through it. So I'm going to put this here for now. Knowing that I want that there. Okay. Let's keep moving. We'll keep moving. Let's see what else. These are backers. Maybe the bell. Or the label. Some of these things I'm going to have to scrap. Some things I'll get away with using. I was trying it out on different paper. And for those of you that are new, I use, um, see you can tell the difference. I bet you this is, I use um, photo paper, matte photo paper. And some of these are printed on copy paper, but it like soaked in the ink really badly. So it didn't quite look right. Let me see if I can find the difference here so I could show you. Here. Oh no, not that one. Hold on. Let's 
So you can't really tell, but you can on the holly berries and you can on here. This is on photo paper and this is on copy paper. So you see the difference when you print. It's a very big difference. Um, of course, I had already had added a background here. This is the same color. That's on photo paper and this is on copy paper. See that? So it's a very big difference when you print on copy paper as compared to photo paper. And here is another one. See that? There's such a big difference in the color. This is copy paper, plain old copy paper, and this is photo paper. So I use the Epson photo paper, or sometimes I buy it on sale, um, the store brand. And there's an angel, maybe we can use her. Okay, let's see what I did here. The angel, and I like the bell. And I like them too. I may just do a, a tag with them. I think I like the bell. And we'll just cut it out. And then I'll use up these digitals that have been laying around for, oh, what is it now? <laughs> I think it's like three years now. I think so. Let me just make this smoother. I don't like that on the plane. I make collage on there. Oh, I like it on there. I like that. It's raining, so it's been raining all day here in New Jersey. Like all day long. It started at, it started, I think, at midnight yesterday. Pouring rain. Okay, let me put this bell here. Oh, that was good. That's all right. Sorry. Sorry for the banging. Okay. I like the angel. Let's cut her out. I'm just doing a loose fussy cut, loose fussy cut so I can kind of put things on the pages to make them appear more Christmassy. lost her. <laughs> I might be able to use that little hummingbird somewhere. Oh, she looks pretty right there. I think I'll put her right there. We're moving along here. Or maybe I'll put her on this side. Facing the bunnies. <laughs> I hope everyone is well. I'm, I got a, I'm so glad I got ahead with videos. I'm ecstatic about that. And Ciro is good. I, can, I didn't get to see him um, before I left initially for my sisters that I thought I was going to be gone a long time. But then when I came home, I snuck in to see him. I snuck in. <laughs> well, let's make a journaling card out of this. We can do that. Let's 
trying to see I had something. Oh no, I thought they were attached. They're not. Hmm. Maybe I might leave a little bit of the border all around. A little bit. Well, we can make a tall one out of this. A tall journaling card and we can make a, can we make a pocket out of this? We could, <coughs> excuse me. We're barely gonna miss her, lose her foot. Just a little, a tiny little bit. I think I'll cut that with the trimmer. Let me see about putting that on a piece of book page and then cutting it out. Oh yeah, good. <laughs> drop the glue, Donna, drop the glue. <clears throat> my, I went to do my wash in the, in the laundry room here and because we have a laundry room and all my clothes got ruined. Some, there was something in the wash that was somebody else's like dirt. I'm so sad. I had to go get new clothes. Um, well, just a few new things because um, there were the shirts that I wore all the time and the sweats that I wore all the time. They were like a light color. I was so upset. They all got like black all over them. I washed them three times, it didn't come out. So now I'm gonna go to my youngest son's now and do my wash there all the time. <laughs> Let me get the trimmer. Okay. Oh, there. There and there and there. Okay. That'll be good for our side tuck. And then what about this? Is this tall enough to... No, I need a different piece of paper for that. It's not tall. Well, you know what? We could, we could actually just put it together. We can. We can do... We can do this. I just need it a little bit thicker, that's all. Think outside the box. So I'll glue that down. And then I'll get another piece and glue it towards the bottom. I don't think I got it all the way down. Nope. No, I didn't. And we'll just glue that on. sugar so everyone's excited about the giveaway <laughs> I've seen names that I haven't seen before so thank you for commenting welcome to my channel if you're new if you're new um you know take a look around for sure because there are so many things on my channel that I do you know videos on and last year I did the 100 day craft project also and um I started with beginning basics for those of you just starting. So if this is something you're getting into and you're just starting, definitely take a look back. 
even if you're even if you're not just starting even if you are a seasoned crafter um i have you know been doing this many years as well and i have a lot of tricks from a lot of different trades that i have in my back pocket <laughs> Does that look even? There we go. Now it's even. Okay. We'll make a tuck out of that. And this will make a journaling card. Let me see what I have. I had this paper here. Maybe we'll do it. I took out scrap paper to get rid of it. No, it's not big enough. I figured I could use it on backs of things. Just, I had this scrap pack. I couldn't tell you how long. It's a scrap pack, one pound, made in the USA. This is when I first started scrapbooking. That's how long I've had it. That's how long. And then I have this scrapbooking paper here. I'll get rid of it. It's cardstock. I guess we'll use that. It's kind of fall colors. It's textured paper. But I need to get rid of this stuff. I really do. Oh, that kind of looks pretty on there. The whole thing. I like that. Maybe I'll leave a border around, but not that big of a border. I felt the paper. There was no glue. I don't know what the heck did I feel. <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave a tiny little bit all around. I felt this. There was no glue on the paper. I don't like when that happens. I really don't. That doesn't look bad. It's not, I didn't rip it straight. Tear it, I mean. just looks horrible. <laughs> Silly. Hold on. I'll get it. Okay. I need to clean this off because the glue is all sticking all over it. Okay. Well, it's a little crooked, but I don't care. It's because I ripped it. I tore it out crooked. All right, let's go back and take a look at the book and see what we did here. I'm using some of these pieces, and then of course, I'll go and get, I'll go and get um, some fussy cuts to put on them, and and some labels. Well, that looks nice on there. Put that there. How about we do that? Let me get the, the size and I'll cut it and then I'll put it on. I'm doing my measuring this way. Yeah. And put my little clip in there from Holly. Blessings to you, Holly. Okay, and let's put that on there like a side tuck. See that? Using up the digital pages that I could have thrown away. Well, 
I don't know. Crafters really don't throw things away. Regular people do. <laughs> but not us crafters. Oh, I was reading your comments on the book page, on the um jacket. <laughs> the jacket for the, um, you know, the cover for the kids' books. And you guys, some of you were saying that you just threw stuff away. <laughs> I felt bad. Maybe we'll put this in here. That looks nice. Yeah, I don't throw many things away. I really don't. <laughs> I mean, I do. But sometimes I think if, I, you know, if I could use it somewhere, I won't throw it away. Maybe we might make this a little tuck there. Yes, let's do that. Whoopsie. I don't know why it's taking so long. It's like stopping when it gets there. There we go. Now we're moving. Okay. Good. It's starting to get Christmassy. I like those little bunnies. What else did I have? I had something else over here. Well, I have some things that are already fussy cut. Let's take a look in there. I, I forget. This is Dreams, etc. D-R-E-A-M-Z as in zebra, etc. On, um... On, um... Etsy. I'm going to make this like a little tuck to, to tuck up a journal card. Cute. Or a tag. Look, there's already a tag. And this is from my new Christmas kit. Cute. We need to do toppers and stuff. We'll get to that. Oh, I love this little boy. Oh, maybe we can put him here. I like him there. Why not? This is also the same company. Dreams, etc. D-R-E-A-M-Z. She has really nice, cute ephemera, um, fussy cut, Christmas things to fussy cut. Cute, cute stuff, really cute. Adorable, how cute, love it. And you'll put that up there. I want to we put one more tag. I'm going to have to do uh, toppers, of course. I just don't have any Christmas stuff. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I, should, I don't have anything right near me because of the fact that I'm going through my everything and trying to get my organization done. There's lots more tags in here. You know, we can do a tag on the corner um, and make it a holder too. If you have a tag, that's cute to do. We'll do it at the corner. You can do it in the top too.
I like the Santa with the map colors. That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, I made a card for my kids and I put, have yourself a merry little Christmas with the cat. <laughs> Not for my, for my, um, my little guy. He always gives his, uh, girlfriend cards. Oh, I like her on there. I wonder if she'll fit. He always gives his girlfriend cards and he always asks me to make them. done. I'm just doing a loose fussy cut. I hope that she will fit. I do. I hope so. If not, we could use her somewhere else. No big deal. She does fit. She just fits. And I like her there. She's cute. Oh, maybe up here more. I like her up there. And then we can put a label down at the bottom. And I might just put some um, vintage photo on her. on one second. Where's some antique linen? Antique linen. Antique linen it is. Still works to tone down the white. It's antique linen by Tim Holtz. And it toned down all that white. Good thing. <laughs> I like her there. That really put brought the red in from the Santa into the page. My hands are getting gluey. Okay. Let's take a look now here what we're doing. We had to do that lion but we oh here's one and you could put this little label in at the bottom these are from my new labels kits the uh, Christmas typography I believe I had to see if I want the border or not. I don't mind it.
So just gluing down onto the pages. I didn't, I didn't use any, many, I think I only used one or two digitals. Most of these are just book pages, that was it. I used maybe a few digitals, I think one, one or two in each. And the rest of it now is taking the digitals or your, uh, you know, your fussy cut things and putting them into the book, putting them in, in on the pages. So creating, creating it to be Christmas. Oh, that looks cute. Let's do that. And that's a fun way to, um, you know, incorporate more book pages into your books. Not, not so many digitals. And also to, if you have, you know, many, 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 many digitals, it's a good way to kind of mix them up and fussy cut things out that you like. And then create, you know, create pages from them. I think I'm gonna do this side. I just need to make it a bit thicker. So I'm gonna use a glue book page here. <laughs> I kind of like the paper. Well, I don't know. I won't be able to keep it. How long are we going? All right. After this, I'm going to probably let you guys go. And then I'll see you tomorrow for Tool Tuesday. Twisted Tool Tuesday. And then I'll be back home on Tuesday, but probably not till late. I won't be back until late. So I'm going to do the video tomorrow before I go in the morning. Which will be Sunday. And then... Um... And then I'm going to leave. What's this? Oh, yeah. This, I had this here. What if we just put this on here? That would look cute. I had this. I really don't want to cover up the whole thing, though. You know what? We don't have to. Hold on. I will just cover the back. I think I have some scraps here. I have... Where was those scraps? Um, does this work? This might work. Yeah. We can put part of the tree on there. And then I'll just cut around it again. And then I'll show you what I'll do. show you okay wait the boy this is gonna make a mess okay I'm gonna cut away the excess I'm going to take a pair of scissors that I don't mind getting glue all over. Hmm. Okay. Now, we covered that up so there's journaling on the back. A little bit of a tree that looks cute maybe we'll put this here to cut
cover up the tree. <laughs> a little cheating. A little bit, not much. It says, let's meet under the mistletoe. Yes. Okay. And now... Hold on. And get some washi tape. And then put it here. got glue. It's glue. There we go. I might just put a little piece up there too. I'm going to put glue on it to reinforce it. Maybe I'll just put, I'm just going to put a tiny little piece down here. Yeah. Just so it kind of matches in. All right. And then, we'll add him right here into this pocket. Look how cute. And we could even put him upward. So that he sticks out. Oh no, we won't. We won't. We'll put him back there. I like that. Cute. Okay. So that concludes our Merry Monday today. Let's take a look at what we did. We basically just took some digitals that I had that weren't working for me and we put them throughout the book. So we did the holly berries and the little boy. And the angel in the church and Jesus. That was a card I had. Um, I got while thrifting. We put the bell. The angel. We did a lot today. If it did an uptuck with some tags in here started. Well, of course, you know, like, oh, here, look, we can do this. Guys, we can do this now. We can add some. Um, we can just add some ribbon. How would I do that? Would I glue it? Should I glue it? Or staple it? Yeah, maybe I'll just staple it. Hold on. I'm gonna put this here and get the tiny attacher. And there, and just put a piece of ribbon there, like that. We need to back that, but we will. I'll leave it upside down for now. And this is a piece of, this is like vintage, you guys. So, looks so vintage, the tape isn't coming off. Don't mind my fingers because I've been gluing with you here today. You've seen me. I wonder. Oh my goodness. Isn't this beautiful? Vintage, <laughs> very vintagey felt like felt ribbon. Don't get rid of none of it. It's yummy stuff. I didn't want to cover Santa. No. Maybe we'll just staple it at the very tippy top. Yeah, like that. So we're not getting rid of Santa. Make sure. Look how cute. So now, wait. That's coming off. 
we might have to revisit that. But for now, that's where it's going. Oh, maybe we'll do it this way. There we go. And this one. <laughs> They're in upside down. And that's okay. I need to back that. Let me put that back there till I back it. Okay. I'll put this back here. Put that there. And keep going. And the little boy we put here. We need to fill this pocket. We did this one. A little bingo card. And we did this. And this. We did we did quite a bit today. And that was our last week. Okay. So thank you for joining me for Merry Monday. Looks like this journal is getting it's gonna look so cute when it's done. I'm excited for it. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow for a Twisted Tool Tuesday. Bye for now, my crafting buddies.